Welcome to episode one of Doing More with the A7 IV. I'm Pat Murphy Racy, a Sony artisan of imagery, and what I wanted to do is invite you in this first episode to come along with me on an assignment. At the local Catholic high school, the coach there for the men's basketball team has been on the job for 33 years, um, and he won the state championship last year, and the team is looking really good. I think they've only had three losses this year so far. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over there and kind of do something that honored him. Um, he's a real country. His name is Hutch. And um, I'm in East Tennessee, so you can draw your own conclusions about what that means. But he's a great guy, good as gold, but he has a lot of Hutchisms, as we say. And um, when he yells on the court, he, he says things in a certain way that are really kind of funny. And uh, we all love him to death. But I wanted to, in his last season, before he retires, I wanted to record uh, some of these things. And so I mic'd him up, just like you might be familiar with ESPN, where they mic up somebody uh, during a game. And that's what I did last night. And so what I wanted to do is explain exactly what I did in order to get the sort of video, um, which I'll show you at the, end of the, um, at the end of this. So the first thing I did is I chose the A7 IV because it is a fantastic option, a brand new option that offers really, really high quality video as opposed to the, all the other A7s that preceded it, um, it offers something called 10-bit video. Now, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time explaining that, but it, it's a much better way to capture video. It's, it captures thousands of colors instead of hundreds of colors. And this means if you mess up your exposure, you can fix it in post, um, more similarly to a still image. So it gives you this really robust file. Now, I, I chose to shoot in 4K for this because I want Hutch to be remembered in posterity in 4K and not in 1080p. Um, and because I have an M1, I have a Mac M1, which is easily, it easily handles, um, you know, this was almost, I think I had 48 minutes total of captured 4K video, and I was able to ingest all those clips. There was 43 clips, I think, total. I was able to pull all those into my editor and handle them and export them without problem. So if you're trying to do video and you're not having M1, I would not recommend using 4K. But if you've got an M1 or a really, really fast PC, go for it. So uh, the first thing I did is I chose 24p or 24 frames per second as my speed to capture. Um, I chose 10-bit video and I chose 4K. Um, those are all the options I chose in the menus. Um, the second thing is I needed really, really good, a gymnasium is the worst kind of possible echo chamber there is. And so if you want clean audio, you have to get the audio close. And because a coach moves around a lot, the only option there was a wireless microphone. And so I chose to use the, 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 the Sony wireless system which is super easy to use. Let me dig this out of my little fanny pack here from Think Tank. Um, this is a UTX B03 uh, mic. Um, it's a very, very nice dual channel uh, recording. So what that means is that it's constantly monitoring two channels at once. And so as the, as the mic is transmitting, the receiver is receiving in not one channel, but two channels. And so if it has an issue in one, it'll switch from A to B automatically. And it's kind of neat when you watch the, uh, the LCD readout, you'll see that in almost every situation, it's flickering before between A and B all the time. And it gives you super clean uh, audio, which is what I needed. So when I put the mic on to Hutch, I knew he'd be yelling a lot. And normally you try to get the mic pointed up and you try to get it centrally located on the person um, because that way if they turn their head, it's not gonna change. If you do it over here or over here, it really makes a difference um, when they turn away from where the mic is, it gets quieter and you don't want that. But because Hutch would be yelling almost all the time, because <laughs> that's what coaches do, I basically chose to put the mic on upside down and a little bit further away than I'd normally put it. Now I still got some um, you know, messy audio because he yelled really loud and I didn't have the gain set right, but hey, nobody's perfect, right? But anyway, so this is on Hutch. And this receiver, which is sitting on the top of the A7 IV, you'll notice there are no cords. This is a cordless system, it's amazing. Um, so this part of the, of the, of the uh, mic system is called the URX P03. Um, but these come together in another fashion. They come as a kit and 
Sony is great at making stuff, but they're terrible, absolutely terrible, horrific about naming things. And so I'm just going to put it in the comments below because it's impossible to remember what the combination of these is. And then the last thing is this little piece on the bottom, it does not come with the kit. And this is a little plastic molded piece that goes into what's called the multi-interface shoe or the hot shoe in the top of the camera. It's called a SMAD, uh, a SMAD as I like to call it, the SMAD plastic hunk that takes the receiver. So basically, once you have the SMAD introduced to the, the mic system, you are now completely cordless, which I love, because I hate cords, can't stand them, even though I have to use a headphone cord. But anyway, so the mic system, we got covered now. Uh, so I'm gonna put this away. While we're on audio, uh, I wanted to talk about these little guys. Now these are, um, this is a Sony WH-1000X M3. They actually make, they're up to the M4 now. I don't have those, but these are sweet. This is a battery powered, um, lithium ion battery powered uh, wireless headphone that are Bluetooth enabled. Um, they are amazing. Um, this is the way you wanna fly. I mean, this is absolutely, when you get on a plane, you put these on and watch a movie and you'll never know even when you take off. It's incredible. But the noise canceling capability of these headphones is crucial for the job I was doing because it's so loud in the gym. I need to be able to isolate only to his voice and hear only him yelling effectively. And so I shot the entire game with these headphones on like this. And that way I could constantly hear the audio and know kind of when things were getting good, I could hit record or whatever, you know, and stuff like that. So these were on my head the entire game. They were on my head like in the locker room afterwards when they prayed together, all that stuff. Um, so you don't want to leave home without these. And you don't really want to do any audio capture with any kind of video without being able to monitor closely what your audio is. Um, it's very, very important because if you have a problem, you'll never know it if you're just looking at the meters. Uh, the meters won't tell you about quality. They only tell you about modulation or the, the signal coming in. So enough about that. So the last thing is the glass. Um, so I chose to use the new 7200-2.8 G Master 2 lens, which is phenomenal. Um, one of the most cool things about it for video is it has a manual aperture ring, which is just awesome. Now when light is changing a lot on shoots, you really want to use this. I didn't use it because I was in a gym that was all evenly lit and he was never going to go anywhere that wasn't evenly lit. So I didn't have to worry about that. But um, the lens is so elegant, it's dead silent, it makes no noise, no vibration. Um, it just gives you this beautiful, uh, sharp picture. Now, one of the things I want to point out on the side of the lens, these are called focus hold buttons, and they're, they're in three different orientations on the lens. I have reprogrammed these for my still sports photography to do punch in, or what's called zoom on sensor. So I can go from full frame to APS-C at a whim. Uh, which is really useful. It's incredibly useful, I found last night, for doing video. Um, and Hutch was like, sometimes I was really close to him, sometimes I was on the other side of the gym, looking across the court at him as he was coaching, and I could literally just punch the button and then be 1.5x in. And so my 7200 became a 300 millimeter 2.8 lens, effectively. Because of the large sensor size of the a7 IV at 33 megapixel, when it drops down to 14 megapixel in APS-C, it doesn't matter, I still get 4K. So it's really cool because every lens is two lenses instead of just one. So when you need to get really close, you can punch in and then get what you want. So I, I mixed it up a lot last night. I shot some at 70 millimeter, I shot some at 200. Then I shot a lot at, at 300 millimeter uh, punched in on the APS-C. Very, very useful uh, tool to be able to use. It just makes it so elegant uh, to be able to get whatever lens you need is sort of at your, at your disposal. Now, there were some times when this is just too bulky, the, the tripod and all this stuff, and so what I needed to do is to be able to pull away from the tripod, and I could just pull this off, reach into my fanny pack here, my little lightwear fanny pack, and pull out the 20 millimeter 1.8 G lens, uh, one of my favorites. And for doing uh, documentary work, um, it's, it's phenomenal. So now I'm free, I can close the back in and I can actually shoot in the viewfinder if I want to, which I did a lot of. 
and you'll see some clips where, um, well, you're going to see in the bottom of each clip what the lens was. And you'll see when it's really wide, it's going to be the 20G uh, lens. This is a phenomenal lens for video. Incredible. Um, and a great on a gimbal. Now, I didn't use a gimbal. I just did handheld. I can do that because of the IBIS system in the camera. So the in-body image stabilization, this, the sensor itself will compensate for my movement as I'm jerking around or holding the camera wrong. So it's very forgiving, this system. It's very, very nice. So um, basically, so I use two lenses, mostly this one, but sometimes this one. I use this wireless mic system from Sony. Um, I use the, uh, the uh, 1000M uh, headphones to be able to monitor what I was doing. And the last thing I used was a really fine tripod. All tripods have basically two movements. You can, you can pan left to right and you can tilt up and down. Now, when you get good at using them, you can do compound movements where you're panning and tilting at the same time. And if you get accomplished at it, you can be very smooth with it where it's really unnoticeable. Now, the better the tripod you buy, the more unnoticeable your pans and your tilts are gonna be and they become incredibly organic. Now, if you really spend a lot of money, like this one, now it's a lot of money is relative, but this is like a $3,000 Sackler tripod. The head on this is FSB8. It's a very, very fine head. Now, in both positions of tilt and pan, you have actual transmissions, just like in a car. So this is a six-speed transmission on the, on the uh, so I just went into zero, and I could just get it like super loosey goosey. But if I wind it up to say four, now it's incredibly hard to move and it's super solid. So the heavier weight you put on this tripod, the kind of more transmission you need to add, the higher gears are better. Um, and so I can make this super loose. Here's zero. Here's, uh, here's the first gear, which is not bad. But the second gear is where I usually spend my time. Um, this is a very nice gear. Now, if it was a little heavier, I'd probably go to three, and then it's, you know, a little harder. So this is, uh, I kind of run more nor at, at three on the pan and three on the tilt. And this is, this is how I worked last night. Um, this is a very, very nice way to work. Um, now, having a tripod like this obviously makes it, it's like cheating. But I want to show you what's, how, how we do things as pros, and this is like what we do. I just can't say enough good things about the a7 IV. For the money at $2498, it is such a value in terms of video. Now, yes, it, it will not do the 120p and 4K. That's going to be reserved for the a7S III, the A1, FX3, FX6, and FX9. But you don't really use it that much. And if I really want slow-mo, I can use the slow and quick mode on this camera. But I can do 60p, which is really awesome. As you watch the video, each clip that comes up, I'm going to have it tagged what, what lens it was. So you'll understand kind of what's going on there and if it was punched in or not. It's 884 games. And it's fighting out its games of one. Tonight we also recognize and thank you for the great gift that Coach Hutchins has been over 33 years to Knoxville Catholic High. Number 11, Sartor. What are you going to do when you retire? Well, Dickie's taught me in the sub a little bit for another year or two. Number two, a six-foot Get on the boards, baby, let's go. Get on the top, Alex. Get on the top. DeAndre, he can shoot threes and get out on him. I know. I heard you tell him. You gotta go get on him, Blue. He hit it from everywhere. Went over the screen. Guys, we gotta take the three away. They scored six points, two threes. Still needs to rebound with two hands. BJ, don't get another foul right now. Get back. Get in front of the ball. In front of the ball. The one's working. Let's just stay with it. Did you two agree? 31 good work good. Yeah. Alex, you can run flood, right? Flood. Where y'all where y'all X out, pop out to the corner, the top guy drops down the block, ball goes back around, you go up high, and Alex goes to the block. Yeah, good pass, Al! Good pass, Al boy, Al! You need to come out. Who? 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 Alex? Yeah. 
Come here, Juice. You've got to have a post. Just run the offense. Get, get Alex. Ten. Who's got ten? See the ball, too, Juice. See the man in the ball. See the man in the ball. Why has he got 15? Don't want him guarding 15. Damn, I'm proud of you, sir. Tip ball. Holy Luke, see it. For you, buddy. He almost dropped it. There's <laughs> best hands on the team. He almost dropped it. <laughs> Guys, let's come down next time. Run X. Let's run X next time. We got to run a play. X. X. Set up and run X. Run the play. Set up. Thank you. Two trap. Two trap. Two trap. Alex, you gotta die. I'll never save it back in like that. That was a good catch and shoot there, Caleb. You gotta do that. Get in that rebound. Get in that rebound. Juice, go rebound. Oh God. Sit down. He needs one point. I'm having to leave him in all this time. Any other time he hit five straight shots. Though we put him in last night. So he wouldn't call anything last night either. Please hit it. There it is. There it is, coach. Let's give Luke Kane a round of applause. Come on, listen, listen. Father, thank you for the game, the victory tonight, and uh, continue to protect us from injury and help us continue to get get better as a team. We ask this your name, amen. One, two, three, two. With us, thanks for hanging in um, to watch the whole video. Um, I'm going to post the entire video, which is about seven minutes long, in the in the comment section below. But please, if this was helpful to you, please subscribe, and it helps me to continue to do more content like this. I don't get paid by anybody to do this except for YouTube. And so uh, um, please subscribe if you found this useful. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Sony Artisan of Imagery, Patrick Murphy Racy.